Hello everybody, I have some news for you. This uh, weekend, HBO's The Watchmen will be available for everybody to see. It will be free, it will be streaming free. Um, as we see in this article over here from Polygon, it is said that uh, from Friday, June 19th to Sunday, June 21, HBO.com will uh, offer uh, The Watchmen TV series for free. This is because June 19th is the date of uh, Juneteenth, an official American holiday commemorating the gradual emancipation of enslaved black people in the American Civil War and its aftermath. So there will be a uh, free access to the series and a um, uh, free marathon on HBO and HBO Latino. Uh, and I suggest if you haven't watched The Watchmen yet, it's a great opportunity to do so. Um, in case you don't know what The Watchmen is, uh, it was a Maxis series published by DC Comics in uh, 1986, I believe. It was uh, written by Alan Moore and drawn by Dave Gibbons and it's one monumental graphic novel. It's one of the most uh, influential uh, superhero comics ever because it deconstructs the genre. The TV show is not based on a graphic novel. It is a sequel. It's an official sequel to the graphic novel. It is about uh, current era, 2000... Um, can't remember right now, but it touches upon the race, the racial issues, the racial injustices in America in a very original way. And I was watching The Watchmen while it was uh, on. I have weekly videos about it, about its episode of the series. And uh, yeah, if you watch the series, I'd be, it'd be great if you watch them too and see how I changed my mind because in the beginning, this series was a bit off. There was something very off about the world built today where there was no electronics, no mobile phones, the technology was very primitive, but there was some uh, amazingly advanced biotechnology. Maybe because somebody who was a genius actually did a lot of genetic research in the graphic novel, come to think of it, and it touches upon the, um, the Tulsa massacre, and it's set in Tulsa. We have a female police officer and police officers have to wear masks because many of them were murdered by uh, white supremacists who have adopted the Rorschach iconography and his uh, final diary from the graphic novel, no spoilers for a graphic novel that everybody has read all those uh, 40 years since it was published. No, it's on 40, 30 years, okay. Okay, I mean, if you haven't read it yet, I get it, it was only 30 years and 40. And uh, what I really loved about the series, it was how much it loved the original and how it was a tribute, without being slavishly faithful to it. Uh, the characters, the characters that are surviving the original graphic novel and are presented in the, in the series, they're great. It's and every one of them gets a new perspective, a new facet, and they evolve. They are not the characters we have met in um, the graphic novel. Their lives have changed, America has changed, and it has changed in some radical ways that uh, make sense once you start to watch the series and see the plot unfold. And the way everything plays out, it's uh, very interesting. There are some great questions about the uh, what is time. Once again, there is some great parts about the good and evil who watch the Watchmen. It will suggest you go. It's, it's a great piece of fan fiction. It's not official in any way. It's um, Damon Lindelof writing his uh, dream sequel of uh, the graphic novel in uh, USA that is um, even more uh, polarized in racial issues. And actually it kind of works because uh, it's never clear that the solutions provided in this uh, US work, I don't think they work. And um, that's what made me very feel very odd at the beginning. So give this um, series some time. It gets amazing after episode three, episode five and six are just um, marvel. I think it's five and six. Yeah, five and six, they're marvelous. They're some of the best hours of television I've watched um, from last year, and uh, they're worth the watch, and there's some great parts in there. I didn't like the main character much, I mean, I've gone and made uh, reviews for every episode, and I say when it's focused on the main character, uh, I didn't like it, but the secondary characters, 
they're all spectacular and I really like them a lot. I don't think there will be a second season, which is kind of a shame because the season one ends in a cliffhanger of sorts. Uh, it's sort of an inception like ending when you have to see what's happening next. And I don't think there will be a second season because. Damon Lindelof is not interesting in pursuing a sequel and I don't think the ratings were that amazing but the direction is great, the music, the soundtrack uh, is amazing, it's really a standout like in Titans, uh, here we also have um, the Nine Inch Nails guy, Trent Reznor do the soundtrack and it's uh, woo, it's it really kicks we have some great acting, Jeremy Irons as Ozymandias was uh, awesome, he was still in the show. And I really liked some of the secondary characters, I mean, there is even some series within a series called American Superhero Story and it's a uh, over-the-top, ultra-violent Zack Snyder-like origin story of the original Minutemen and I would love to see a spin-off of this series because, oh my, it's... It's so good. It was so funny to watch this. It was like the the Watchmen movie from 10 years ago. And it was so tongue-in-cheek. I just had to love it. It was awesome. If you haven't watched The Watchmen, it's a great opportunity to go and do so. It's highly recommended. If you feel uh, something not uh, sticking in the beginning, don't worry. That's how it's supposed to be. Nothing is sticking in the beginning. It makes no sense for a reason. It all ties together very well, uh, a bit too well in my opinion, but whatever, I mean, um, I have, I won't spoil it for you if you're interested in hearing my opinion, there are reviews for the, all the episodes in the channel, and um, there will probably be a playlist in the end, so uh, watch The Watchmen, and uh, don't hate me if you don't like it, but I don't think you won't like it, I think you'll love it, like I loved it eventually, thank you for watching.